Pain represents a distressing experience associated with actual or potential tissue damage with sensory, emotional, cognitive, and social components. Meaning pain is an output because your brain perceives a threat from different air inputs. Your brain is the CEO of your body and takes in information from many different systems to make the decision to elicit a painful experience. This process can be illustrated by a cup. This cup and what it can hold represents your capacity to tolerate stressors that can contribute to pain. The liquid represents these stressors. These can be anything from tissue injury to fatigue to emotions and memories even the very words that are used to describe your diagnosis. Once the cup overflows, we now have pain. We now know from modern pain research that what can contribute to pain stretches far beyond just tissue health. This is not to say that tissue health is unimportant, but that it gives us more options for managing each case. Going back to the cup, we can approach this from two angles. First, we can limit the amount of water in the cup. We can do this through activity modification, movement, and even the way we think about our pain and function. As we manage this, and you can participate in more activity without overflowing your cup, we can start making your cup larger. There are many ways to do this, but some of the best ways include strengthening and movement. Now our cup can hold more water without overflowing. What does this mean for you? When managing persistent pain, you should look for an individualized approach that actively includes you in identifying triggers and increasing your capacity to function.